Hello, my name is Bob Willis, and this month on the NPL Defect Database, let's look at solder shorts on surface mount components that have been wave soldered. Now, typically, solder shorts on SOICs or QFPs are often related uh, to the pin size and the pad size. And it's often misunderstood that all pins are the same size. It's important to actually measure the size of the termination and also the pad size. I've seen on many occasions where over etching of the pad on the PCB has actually allowed a board design to be successfully wave soldered with no solder shorts. But actually, when it's produced correctly and the dimensions on the pad are as or very close to the original design, you get solder shorts. So again, measurement of individual terminations and pads on a printed circuit board is important. And also, if you find that some boards solder short and some don't, then measure the two lots to see if there is, in fact, a difference. A couple of other reasons for solder shorts on SOICs or QFPs is leaving the resist between the pad centers. Now, with certain so types of solder resist, you might find the actual mobility of the solder across the surface when it's draining is different. That's why we look at different solder resists and also look at the ability for materials not to actually have solder balls present on their surfaces. The flux, the solids content, and of course other process parameters play a significant role that look at all aspects and don't always consider that some of the obvious are easily the reasons why a defect occurs. Thank you for jo joining us on the NPL Defect Database.